Morning, everybody. Uh, how are you today? Well, I've just been told a couple of hours ago by the staff here at the uh, camping caravanning uh, site at Canterbury that uh, I have to leave today. So on the 20th of March, I did pay for an extra eight nights stay, which would have taken me up until the 1st of April, leaving on the 2nd of April but uh, they're not honouring that. And I've had a refund. I spoke to the staff and uh, they've kindly refunded my money. So that's all good. But from what the government was saying and the Prime Minister's uh, speech last night about non-essential travel, I just don't understand it because we're here in, on these sites um, and do you know obviously we got electric we got shower and toilet facilities we got areas where we can dispose of our toilet um plus the fact you're out in the fresh air and out in the open so now we've all got and not just me other motorhomers and um, like myself who live in the motorhome full time a lot of people i mean i'm lucky i've got family so I can go to family and I mean, we could, we're going to make some arrangements anyway, but I'll probably stay in my van most of the time, um, when I'm with my family. So we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll sort of come to some arrangements. So we're not in contact too much with each other. Um, but having said that there are a lot of people who don't have family. They're living in a motorhome. They sold their houses. They've been living in motorhomes for years. And this is their lifestyle. This is it. So where do they go? You know, have the government really thought about people in this situation? I don't really think so. I mean, I know everybody's, you know, we've all got to work together and, and uh, until this thing's over. You know, nobody knows how long it's going to go on for. It could go on for months. It could go on for another into next year. Who knows? But fingers crossed. We'll all come out of it feeling better at the end, hopefully, you know. So, yeah, so that's it. I leave here in 58 minutes, <laughs> to be exact, at 12 o'clock. It's now 11.02. Um. I've had a wander around the site. I've spoke and said my goodbyes to a few other motorhomers. Um, there's still one or two I've got to see. Some people are leaving early. Um, they they were due to, there's a couple that was due to stay here until the 1st of April, but they've had an offer from a friend up in Lincolnshire. Uh, so they're, they're shooting off today. They're, they're going there. And I, I can't say I blame them. And, uh, but like I say, there's other people who haven't got family or friends. They just, that's it. They're in their motorhomes full stop. So, but the point I'm trying to make, because it's a, a lockdown and non-essential travel, all these motorhomers, you know, they're all out there, you know, parked up, maybe seafronts, laybys, because all the campsites are all closed. The caravan and motorhomes closed. The Camping and caravan clubs closed. All the smaller sites, what they call CL and CS sites, which are run by like farms and things like that. They, they take on about five motorhomes or caravans. So they're, this, they're small. And a lot of those are closed. So where do you go? What do you do? Where do you go? Nobody's really given it any thought. But I would have thought, <laughs> you're safer here. You know, you're safer on site. You're paying for your, your electric, your, your, the facilities. So, and when I was talking to the member of staff this morning, some of them are actually, they've been told they're losing their jobs as well. So there you got the question. Now the sites are going to be left. Just the grass is going to get longer. Who's going to cut the grass? Who's going to look after the sites? 
What about security? People just wander in. It's, you know, it's, it's not good really. So anyway, well, I'm sure they'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I'm sure they'll have some sort of security, maybe a skeleton staff crew staying on, who knows? Uh, I spoke to a senior member this morning and she's, she's staying here. She's not losing her job. So, but the others, the, the wardens, well, the assistants, I think they're losing their jobs. So, which is tough on them. And a lot of them live on site in a motorhome anyway, as well. Yeah, so it is worrying. It is worrying times, you know. I just hope everything, we can all get back to normal. I mean, watching the news this morning up in London, the tubes are still packed. Uh, the Prime Minister was on last night and in not so many words, we're in more or less in a lockdown. But in Sports Direct, I just couldn't get over it. Class in their workers as essential workers in Sports Direct. Well, now I believe that they've shut all the stores in Sports Direct. And a lot of construction workers I heard that Heathrow Airport, they were doing some construction on building. They've all been stood down and they've all gone home. So it's things like, you know, tradesmen, people like that, like plumbers, you know, electricians. Your boiler might be gone, uh, a leaky tap, your toilet's blocked. So you're going to need a plumber, something. How do you get around that when there's, you know, we're in a lockdown situation? How are people going to cope? Are these people going to want to go into somebody's house? Are you going to allow a plumber or electrician into your house? <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I've got uh, about 48 minutes still to go here. Um, I'm just having a, a glass of orange. <laughs> Maybe another one after this. I've emptied the toilet. I'm sure you really want to know that. I've done all that i've just got to pack stuff away make the van safe for uh, traveling uh, so things don't all fly all over the place yeah um but like i say hopefully this won't last too long the only blessing i can see is that the weather's warming up so that's a good thing that's a blessing in disguise so we're coming into better weather anyway. So that's all good. But again, non-essential travel. So you can't even drive around if you want to go somewhere. You know, I mean, I walk a lot. So I'll, I'll still do my daily walks. I'll still go out. Uh, I'm going down to the coast. So I shall have my walk along the coast. Just keep my distance from people. Um, if family come out with me, we'll just keep our distance. Uh, a couple of meters apart, as they recommend, which is all good. I just, it's just common sense. Just, you know, make sure again, washing hands, stuff like that. Um, so anyway, there you go. Um, I'm not going to ramble on much longer, but it's just uh, for all of you out there, take care, stay safe. And uh, whatever you're doing, you know, look after your family, your friends, your loved ones. And because uh, they're the important one, at the end of the day, when all push comes to shove, blood's thicker than water, and your family at the end of the day, they are important, you know. So, yeah, stay safe, be good, look after yourselves, and hopefully it won't be too long. We're back on the sites again, and I'll do a little video and let you know. Anyway, I will be posting little videos, I'll, I'll keep you updated of how I'm doing and how things are going, and 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 that sort of thing so just keep watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh you know hit that like button and uh subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell the little bell so you get future updates uh share the video you know on your social media social social media uh <laughs> so share the video and if please leave a comment I'd love to hear from you and, and what your thoughts are and what you are doing. Yeah, let me know what you're doing, how, how your situation is. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you.
So anyway, if, bye for now. It's a gorgeous day. Really into spring now. Loving it. Hope the weather keeps up good. Bye now. Take care. Thank you.